Hello guys, Denizzi here and welcome to World of Odium, or welcome back to World of Odium. It's been a while, it's been a while. It's been a minute a minute or two. Um, let's see, I forgot those. Yeah, now I'm cool. Um, today I would like to uh, do a little bit of uh, work around the post-apocalyptic area that I have kind of uh, set up here. Um, we are basically out of cobblestone. So I should probably go and mine for some more of that. Uh, we don't have a lot of oak wood left either. Uh, yeah, here we go. So I should probably get some more wood and that kind of stuff. But before I do any of that kind of stuff, before I go grind... Oh, we have some more cobblestone here. Perfect. I don't need to grind. Then I can just jump into the <laughs> projects. Um, I did try to record another episode, but, um, it turned out it, uh, it turned out a few hours long. But as you can see, right out of the window here, or the wall, uh, I don't remember if it's supposed to be a window. Yeah, it's supposed to be a window. I will set something up here. Um, but as you can see at the window here, there's a little bit of changes done here. And that is because I have been working pretty hard on making this area a bit more wild. Because it can, I can call it a post-apocalyptic area as much as I want, but not having any remnants of any roads or any wild wildlife starting to grow, I don't think. I, I think we need that. We we need to have a wildlife start growing here, and um, that is kind of what I'm working on. And we have a little bit of a rabbit here somewhere. He's he's a bit everywhere. Uh, there he is. But yeah, he, 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 I don't know where he comes from. I don't think he's supposed to be spawning here, but um, what do I know? Um, I've been doing a little bit of a grind as well, getting some obsidian. Uh, because I want to change out the portal a little bit, do some work on it. Because I think what I want is that uh, the apocalypse that has been here came from the nether of some sort. Um, just laying the whole place to grounds. But if we follow this road here, as I mentioned in the last World of Odium episode, I wanted to make a town hall or ta a city hall or whatnot. And I've worked on that. I I've set this up and I wanted to look uh, destroyed. And uh, I may even f uh, take that wall out and lay it down instead of it staying on the side here. Meaning that um, I'm gonna need more brick because I'm gonna fill up the, um, I'm gonna fill up where it's missing pieces and so that it's one piece laying on the ground with the ceiling fallen down inside of it. And I need to actually get some more um, clay here anyway because I want the missing pieces to just lay around here. Uh, just, yeah, they, they, they haven't vaporized, they've just gotten blown out, you know what I mean? So the pieces would be a bit everywhere and that kind of good stuff. And these um, pillars that were supposed to uh, keep up a balcony here, uh, they have kind of fallen off, so I need to uh, figure something out about the balcony where I'm going to place that on the ground here. And I have been uh, replacing lots of the mycelium. And I'm still working on that because um, I, I want it to be. I want I want the grass to be here, you know. Uh, I want the grass to be everywhere. Um, so that is something I need to do as well. But uh, in this video, uh, in this video, we are going to be working on uh, some sort of nether kind of building here. Uh, and I've been trying to search for some inspiration. Uh, from uh, for concept arts and that kind of stuff for paused apocalyptic buildings uh, but I'm not really finding anything uh, I'm finding towns cities but not single buildings so uh, not lots of not a lot of inspiration to find there uh, that that's my experience though um, but there I still have some work on the road here to do. Uh, like, um, as you can see here, I have been texturizing, I've been replacing, and that kind of stuff. We have some leaves uh, from time to time as well. And I want to do the same on this end of the road. And I also think we ought to have a way to get up and down on the road as well, not just jump. Because uh, 
people wouldn't be jumping, you know? So we're gonna go ahead and take a little bit of these and make some slabs and just slab up the, um, up here. So there and there, right? I think that works. Maybe, no, not right there. Uh, and then we're gonna go right there. And I think that's all. Yeah. Uh, there, there's just some minor things that I need to do about this road, but uh, we, we can get it done. We can do it. Uh, we also have a, a little bit of other things I would like to throw into the... Uh, into it as well, but I don't remember where I... Pl oh, we have a little bit right there. It's so hard to see the difference between dirt and coarse dirt when they're just like that, you know what I mean? Uh, and then I think maybe here? No, here? No, I thought I had more coarse dirt. Oh. I don't think it helps to check the... Yeah. Yeah, there, there's a bit more. And we need to take a sleep. But th that's more kind of a work that I want to do in between videos, I think, the work on the roads and that kind of stuff. Let's just take a quick gander around here. Um, just maybe... No. I don't think so. Um, maybe... I will be right back. Okay, we are back, and um, I'm sorry about that. It was a bit important that I answered that phone. Um, was an important phone call to me. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Yeah, I want... Oh. I'm, I meant to do that. Um, I want to do a little bit of work on that. I almost forgot. Let's see. We can do that. And I think what I want to do is I want it to be kind of floating, but not really. Like, I want it to look like it's floating. This is the one I meant to go in. Um... I want it to look like it's floating, but you can see that it's not at the same time, if that makes any sense. So what I'm thinking is that we can go ahead right here and just add, maybe doing something like this to there. And then we will go in underneath here and just remove these. And then we will, then that'll give us uh, let's see. Um, one block in between. Okay. So if we go here, we will go there and um, here, 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 there, there. Okay. That's one way of doing it. That's <laughs> one way I've never done it. Um, and then I want to do the same thing in the back. So we will go right here and go here, there, 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 there. And then we can do the same thing right here. Just going this way until I think here. One more. Thank you. Awesome. There we go. Okay. That's perfect. Now, what I would also like to do here is I would like to raise this one one more. Like so. And here we will have the platform, so to speak, for where the portal is going to go. And then we will go around right here. You know what? This uh, I should actually have this one wider. To be honest, I should. You know what? We're, we're gonna take it one wider. So, this will go there, this there, this there, this right there. So, we will take this. Oh, I didn't mean to take that one. There and there. And then we will take that, that, that away. Yeah, I think that could be a bit better. I don't want this platform to be too big. But, uh... 
I don't want it to be too small either. There, there, there. There. There, there, there. And there, 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 there. And there, there, there. Okay, good. Now we're cooking. Maybe we... Mm, I, I should have made a template of this before I started working on it, to be honest. I, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Um, hopefully it'll look good, but uh, I can't really tell if it will. Maybe this could be better? Yeah, I think so. You know what? I think one wider wouldn't hurt us. So we are gonna take this out. Okay. Then we're gonna go there, 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 there. There, 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 there. Away with the inner one. And then the same right here. There, 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 there. There, there, there. And then the last one right here. Oh. Like so. And away. Something like so. And then this side as well. I need to remember this one. There we go. Because I want a bit bigger of a portal, which is why I have 30 uh, blocks of obsidian, so that I can make it a bit wider. And maybe we could actually lift it up one more as well. Oh, ugh. my character tried to fly. That didn't really work. Okay, I think maybe one higher should be good. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. That, that that's why I wanted to make it one wider because then I can go in and um, make it one taller I forgot that that is supposed to stay and I failed okay that's fine up oh, I failed again that's oh come on don't do that to me good that's better and then we ought to get up here lift that up whoop and just carry this one around like so there and then over like so there and over like so again. Come on. And over here. Okay. That seems good to me. Now, I will be using different kinds of uh, texturizing blocks as well in this, and I won't just have it stone brick because that's kind of boring. But what we do need to do is open up and make sure that we place the obsidian on the right side, if that makes any sense. And I think that would be a good size for it. So if we just go in and we take this down and this down, and we open this up like so. Perfect. And we go... Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's a bit better. Okay, and then we're gonna go in the bottom here and just remove this whole thing because I don't we, we don't need the reminders of this, you know. Uh, but we will probably have a couple of broken portals around as well to kind of um, insinuate that uh, it, this wasn't the only portal that was opened. 
uh, there were several others that kind of opened up and uh, released whatever came and destroyed this place. Um, there we go. I did not bring any dirt. Of course not. Why would I do such a small, uh, such a smart thing? Uh, but um, that ought to give it a little bit of a hey, huh? Taste. Yeah, I like that. And then what I'm thinking, before we go and get some more good stuffs for us, um, mainly dirt, uh, I just want to cover up on the outer side here. So we go here and we go like this. And then I think I want to do that until we reach the bottom of it. I think that would be good. And I need to eat. And keep on spreading so much that I need to keep on eating. That's fine. And then we're gonna go in and we're gonna just make all of these into slabs. There we go. Yeah. Oops. I meant to take it there. Something like so. I think that could work. Maybe we could even go on each underside here and just add a little bit of this. Yeah. I think that can make it look a tiny bit better. Then we're gonna go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I like that a whole lot better. There we go. But that means that we need a whole lot more slabs. And that is completely fine. Uh, I think that ought to be more than enough. Just my personal opinion. It doesn't necessarily mean I'm correct. Oh, I was just thinking, let's be careful with that hole. <laughs> then I just fall into it. Then we're gonna go here. And around we go. that better? Yeah, I think that's better. My personal opinion, of course. Um, there we go. There, there, and that ought to be good. And then in the back here we go down, up, up, and up. And then over here we go down, we go up, we go up and up. And that ought to be everything. Okay, just a little bit of something. Uh, I may go in and add some more details into this. Uh, maybe we should add a little bit of a, I don't know, something like this. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. Just to kind of allow ourselves to get up and down a bit easier than having to um, keep on uh, jumping up and down. That's kind of infuriating, to be honest. There we go. And then we can go in and we can just fix these guys. And we can just add those. There we go. That's better. There. Because then we can kind of fence off and uh, make this the up and down way, you know what I mean? So it's kind of uh, spawned in like this and... Oh, I almost jumped down. This is not brown a bit safe. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's going to be a bit better. Um, then we just need to light it up and it ought to be good to go. Let's see, thank you. I always keep it in my ender chest, just in case. Um, there we go. Awesome. Let's see if it's still linked up to my portal. It would be bad if it changed. Yep. 
good. That is very fine. Okay. Then we can maybe go in and just do a little, a little bit of this. Maybe just... Oh. Ow. Add a little bit of things that still burns. You know? Ow. There. Just to... Um, just because why not, you know? And I, I just lit that up and I still try to use it. That's good. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good enough. I hope that gives it a feeling of danger, you know? Um, and we're not completely done with it. Um, yeah, I like that. That's cool. I, I want to give that a bit more... Uh, the portal itself a bit more stuff to make it look a bit more uh, dangerous, so to speak. But that is kind of what I want, uh, basically. Uh, so what I could do now uh, is if we quickly go in here, fetch a little bit of oak wood, go in here, fetch a couple of these, go in here, make these into that, Maybe just do that. There, there, there. Perfect. We could go in and add a little bit of fences. It should, it should be um, uh, fences from uh, the Nether, but or walls or whatever, whatever the Nether has. But basically. Just adding a little bit of that. Kind of uh, trying to block it off as well. Oh, I didn't mean to place it there. I meant to place it here. Something like that to try to block it off, but... Yeah. And this is where I want to add... A a little bit of coarse dirt as well, uh, kind of around where it's burning, for example. Uh, so if we go here and fetch us these, that is the silk touch, I believe. But let's say that we want to go right here, maybe right there, maybe right here, um, maybe right there, maybe... Like so, maybe right here, uh, and just add a little bit of coarse dirt into this mix. You know, uh, just just a little bit like this. I think that could be kind of cool. Let's see, we did get some grass blocks, so we're just gonna place them there. And then we can go right here and just add, like so, right here, maybe it doesn't even need to be close to a fire itself, but just adding a little bit of this and just making it look a bit more damaged, so to speak, I think it's going to be very helpful. So going in everywhere now and just adding these guys, and right there, right there, yeah, I think that could, I think that's gonna make it a bit more damaged, maybe something, maybe right there, maybe like so as well, yeah. Let's see. Well, it is kind of hard to see with all the grass here. So if we just go in and break down a little bit of this grass, 
I think that ought to help us. Like, I don't think that there would be a lot of grass in this little area right here. That That's what I'm thinking. Because it, it, the ground itself would be kind of um, kind of destroyed and um, like fire, sure, it does help the ground from time to time but this much it, it, it has been some time but the fire is still here as if they still regularly come in and uh, maybe they maybe they still come in here to make sure that uh, no one is settling down and making m maybe they were really bad friends you know and uh, couldn't really get things to work between them uh, so they maybe they have a, a grunge you know grudge grunge grudge and doesn't want to see them come back here. Maybe something like that. Uh, maybe they just wanna. Uh, maybe they just wanna see the world burn. You know, could be. But I don't think as much grass as was uh, as there was would be there. That that's a whole lot better. Breaking it up a little bit is definitely helping. But I don't wanna break it up too much. But I do wanna break up a bit more. <sighs> thinking it's helping but we kind of have to make it spread around here I'm also gonna want to place some soul sand in the ground here as well um, and maybe excuse me maybe a little bit of black concrete as well like uh, the ground has really been scorched in a sense um, I think that could be helpful for this area. That, that's my opinion. Um, let's see how it looks when you kind of come from here. Because you would either stand out this way or this way. Itchy nose, I'm sorry. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't look bad. In my opinion, it doesn't look too bad. Um, then we can just go in here and just remove this, I think. I don't think that tree needs to be there. I think it kind of ruins it. Hmm. Yeah. I think... I think that helps a lot. But I think maybe it's a bit too much fire on top of here. So we're gonna take those two out. Maybe we can have one right there instead. No, that's too close to the portal. It's, uh, it would um, probably harm anyone trying to get in here. There. Just to kind of let you know that, th that that's not the way. But yeah, I think that's good. Um, we can maybe add that one right there, that one right there. Because this... These fences are man-made. They are man-placed to kind of... Um, because they... they Maybe they used to use that portal for what we use it for. Quicker traveling points. And maybe... Maybe the people down... Uh, or... Okay. Let's clear our minds. Innovation. Apocalypse. The people who lived here did not use this. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I just need to make sure that I, I'm aware of the lore that I'm setting here. Um, but yeah, I think that's a whole lot better. And uh, I personally like it a whole lot. And let's talk about something else. Vanilla survival and craft theory. I'm not going to quit. Um, uh, I have a first off vanilla survival. I have a few episodes recorded. Uh, I just need to edit them. Um, I've been having a rough uh, weekend, and I haven't been able to do that. Uh, but they are coming, and uh, they will be more frequent than 
and then World of Odium, or even Craft Theory. And that reminds me, I'm not going to quit playing on Craft Theory, but I do believe I'm going to quit recording on Craft Theory, because uh, I now have three series, which are basically, uh, the two of them are basically the same. Um, and I'm kind of out of a dis on Craft Theory. I, I'm just, uh, lately when I'm there, I'm just running around and uh, placing, uh, signs saying I was here. <laughs> and uh, just looking at other people who are building and yeah. I, I'm not doing anything big right uh, there at the moment. And uh, I, I want to build more on vanilla survival, in a sense. But I don't want to stop playing there, so I'm not going to stop playing on Craft Theory. I'm just going to... At least I'm having a long break from recording there. If I do feel like I want to record again, I might do that. Uh, I'm, it's a bigger chance that I'm going to be streaming on Craft Theory uh, than uh, on World of Odium or Vanilla Survival. Uh, and I'm not going to be streaming extremely long, but... Yeah, uh, if I'm going to be streaming, it's probably going to be on Craft Theory. Uh, I think that's the thing I'm going to do. So, with that, I think we are out of time for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more If you want to see more videos like this. Uh, don't forget to check down in the, descri in the description below, because there's a couple of links there. And... Um, other than that, have an awesome day, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, bye-bye.